Blueprint's Fuel Filter Removal Tool is an OE-developed tool for vehicles fitted with the JTD type engine. It helps make the job of replacing the fuel filter more efficient and more importantly, greatly reduces the risk of damaging the fuel filter housing. There are many applications for the tool, and in this video, we are showing the process on a Suzuki Splash. You will need the fuel filter removal tool, a new fuel filter, a half-inch drive ratchet, a half-inch torque wrench. A number of different components need to be removed to allow access to the fuel filter housing. Start with the wiper blades. Then move on to the plastic scuttle panel. Now remove the wiper motor linkage assembly. Ensuring the ignition is off, you can then remove the ECU. You can now unbolt and remove the metal upper bulk head partition. And then disconnect and remove the fuel filter housing. Using a vise and grips to loosen the housing is highly likely to result in damage to the fuel filter housing and fastening ring. The solution to this is ADK85502, Blueprint's OE-developed fuel filter removal tool. Clamp part A of the tool into a vise and place the fuel filter housing inside. Place part B on top of the housing, aligning the six slots of the tool with the filter housing fastening ring. Using a half-inch drive ratchet, undo the fastening ring by turning part B anti-clockwise. And remove the upper section of the housing and filter. Fit the new O-ring that is supplied with a fuel filter. The replacement blueprint filter is designed so that you can remove and attach the new element without having to touch the filter paper. Attach the fuel filter to the upper section of the housing and remove the outer covering. And insert into the housing. With part B, tighten the fastening ring to 30 Newton meters using a half inch torque wrench. Now refit the fuel filter housing. And replace all the components removed at the start of the process in reverse order. You now need to carry out an air bleeding of the fuel system. Turn on the ignition to operate the fuel pump. Leave it on for 5 seconds and then turn it off. Repeat this 6 times before starting the engine. Go for a test drive to ensure correct operation of the vehicle.